Hey everyone, I am back. Uh, so today, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll talk about Sander for a little bit. So Jeskai Black is kind of the best deck. Uh, so now I'm looking at things that do similar things to Jeskai Black, but might have an edge in the mirror. So uh, we're going back to the old Esper Token deck. Uh, and at this point, it's it's basically just black-white. I don't know. I was looking at the one with Jace's, and the Jace's just looked really bad in the deck. Even though it's obviously a very powerful card. But there weren't a lot of things to flash back. You know, like your removal spell is Silk Wrap, which I think is awesome. And uh, your threats are Planeswalkers. Uh, so this deck is, like, threat denser than something like Jeskai Black. But it ends up making your Jace's worse. So I was just like, alright, I don't really want to play Jace. And Hangerback Walker looks pretty good. Um, Knight of the White Orchid is kind of meh. I could see those being like Seeker of the Ways, maybe. Uh, but I did want to try Monastery Mentor in this deck. That's something that, you know, some people were doing way back. Uh, and it looked okay. I mean, those could be like Sky Spawners, potentially, uh, or, or something of that nature. But I was really impressed with the Mentors out of the Jeskai Black deck. Just like Mentor Painful Truce Duress is a really powerful shell, uh, especially with cheap removal. So, yeah, I wanted to give that a shot. And... This deck's threats are all, like, the cards that Jeskai doesn't want to play against. So, like, Gideon, Secure the Waste, Wingmate Rock. Uh, those cards are all tough to beat. Hangerback Walker kind of counts, too. Uh, although that one's a little bit easier to deal with. Uh, plus, Shambling Vents are pretty nice. So, that's kind of how we got here. And we're going to give it uh, the old college try, I suppose. So, uh, we have some ultimate prices. I think the metagame's at a point where ultimate price is actually just pretty reasonable. Uh, even the Abzan Aggro decks only have... Uh, Anna Fenza and Rhino that Ultimate Price can't really touch. I mean, certainly Ultimate Price is not great against Wingmate Rock, but it's a uh, two-man answer. It's a half their, half their Wingmate Rock, so that's not bad. Uh, I still like the Mentors and the Truths and the Dresses, so I have three of each. I don't know. That could that could be higher. We'll see. Uh, I really like the one Sorin with the Monastery Mentor. Uh, this, this deck had kind of like an iffy matchup against the Red decks. Like, you could certainly win because you had things like Hangerback Walker and Knight of the White Orchid. Uh, Duress obviously helps too, and having cheap removal like Murderer's Cut certainly helps a bunch. Uh, but Monastery Mentor is actually quite good against them, especially if you play something that they want to shock early, like a Knight of the White Orchid, uh, or even maybe a Hangerback Walker, and then you get to play that. And then Monastery Mentor can basically just like go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all their Horling Outbursts and whatnot. So uh, I like Mentor, and since we have Mentor, I think the Soren is really good. Uh, Soren was a card that I thought was not great just because it's really tough to actually have a board presence the turn you play it, but Mentor kind of changes all that, so that's tight. Uh, I could definitely see a second Soren main deck or like, you know, the fourth Mentor, stuff like that, if you think that red is going to be a bigger deal, but that deck has kind of fallen off, so I don't know. Uh, and then that's, that's kind of about it. It's like sort of standard, I guess we're like a little light on removal. Uh, we only have eight, which is fine, but not great. Um, the cons of a deck like this versus something like Jeskai Black would be you don't have the early red removal, so, uh, right now I have six cards that kill Jace on time, whereas Jeskai Black had, I don't know, like 12, they had Cracking Dooms and Kolagon's Commands and stuff that could kill it if they're on the play, so, uh, things are a little bit different and we're a little weaker to stuff like that, but it's also powerful, or possible that you can just, like, brute force a Jace with something like, a uh, Gideon Emblem and a Secure the Ways, so... There is that. Uh, as for the sideboard, I need to buy another Soren, and then we'll be ready, but that's the only thing I'm missing. Uh, I have some counter spells. Uh, I like Negate a lot. Stops Painful Truths, which I think is really important. We have other ways to deal with things like Dragon Lord Ojutai. Uh, I like the mix of two Negates, one Dispel. Like Dispel being so cheap is... It's definitely a card that I want access to somewhere in the deck, uh, but Dispel kind of takes up Negate slots, which kind of stinks. But uh, I can see switching those numbers around. I have a Surge and an Arashian Cleric for my Red Hate. Uh, Surge can also come in against Abzan Aggro. Uh, I ended up cutting all of the self-inflicted wounds because I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Uh, maybe killing Dragonlord Ojutai is, is more necessary than I think. Uh, another Ultimate Price, which is just a card that comes in in a lot of spots. Uh, most notably, Jeskai Black and Atarka Red. So, I like that card. Fourth Painful Truths and a Treasure Cruise on top. Uh, I like that a lot. If, if you play against matchups where uh, your Delve cards like Murderous Cut are not great, then it probably means the Treasure Cruise is pretty great. So there's that. Uh, I have two Obnixilis, which is basically the plan against Abzan Aggro and Jeskai Black. Uh, just kill their stuff, play this thing that has six loyalty and draws you a card and is really tough to deal with. A couple Infinite Obliterations for Rally and 
maybe Esper Dragons, maybe some sort of green Eldrazi ramp deck. Uh, I think those are like a reasonable hedge since uh, I kind of like my spot in most places, so I feel like the obliterations just shore up the very, very bad matchups. Uh, fourth copy of Duress, a single copy of Utter End. Utter End is not great. I feel like, again, you can kind of just brute force through random permanents with Gideon Secure the Waste and, you know, things like Monastery Mentor or whatever. Uh, but Utter End is a thing that you can board in against Jace decks where uh, you don't necessarily need to kill the Jace right away. So they might play, play Jace, flip it, take it up to six and pass, and then you can just Utter End it and it's kind of fine. So I like having the one copy of Utter End. It's just like a slow, clunky removal spell, but I think it solves some problems. So... Uh, I'm going to join a league here real quick after I buy this Soren, and uh, we'll see how good this deck is.